Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance here on Series Gaming. Let's fight Greetings. in the tournament. What business have you? I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sahanish's rule is every contestant has to put up three score groschen. Of course. Here you are. I'll write your name down. Henry, you said. And Longsword. Good. See you later. I've already been for this. Let's win the tourney. Fight to long. Meeting face to face in this round will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzig Kobla. And he will face Pavel called Roebuck from the garrison of Sir Sebastian von Berg. Welcome our warriors. And this very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. We will witness a duel with longswords. Okay, let's begin. It's finished. That's the end of the first round of combat, and the victor is Henry of Scalitz. He's not even really hitting me. Okay, next one. At the very least, opponents are putting up a, some somewhat of a fight, right? The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. The combatants will engage in a duel with war hammers and shields. Okay, let's go. Right, kick him back. It's finished. He is Henry of Scalitz. He is hereby declared the victor in this round and shall proceed to the next round. Entering the arena now will be Obram, known as Spudderhawk, Archery Master of Kaling, who will measure his skills against Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzig Kabla. Let us wish the combatants luck. The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may commence. We will witness a duel with longswords. Yeah. 
Victory. That's the end of the first round of combat, and the victor is Henry of Scalitz. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. Let's go. Nice technique there. The weapons for the third bout have been chosen by our gracious Sir Hanush. The combatants will engage in a duel with war hammers and shields. Oh. <laughs> 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 With his second victory at the end of the third bout, the victor of this round is Henry of Scalitz. Having proved his combat skills in this round and emerged victorious, he shall proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. Entering the arena now will be Coleman, man at arms of Sir Hanush of Lipa. And his adversary will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kabla. Let's go. Let us wish the combatants luck. Indeed. Go, go, go. And this very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. We will witness a duel with long swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it. Whoa. Cunt. Peace. Ah. 
Victory. That's the end of the first round of combat, and the victor is Henry of Scots. Change weapons for the second bout. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. Shit. And ladies, good men and good wives, you have just witnessed the final duel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Skelets, man at arms in the company of Sir Radzi Kobila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Did it in the end, Henry. No doubt you're well satisfied. And I'm sure you'll be happy with this prize. I certainly am, my lord. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. How come you're wearing such... God save you.
not be with you. All right, let's see about salmon fish and what awaits the there. Before doing anything else. Okay, I'll need to eat. Well, I never. Are you looking for me?
Right here. <laughs> Greetings, good night. God be with you. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. What's the matter? It's the tawny. It always upsets me. Why would the tawny upset you? It brings back sad memories about my son Svartabruk. God rest him. He always loved sword fighting. Even when he was just a lad, he used to duel with his mates with sticks. And for years he saved every groshin he got so he could buy a real weapon. It wasn't long before he had the hang of all sorts of fancy strikes and feints. So when he heard Sir Hanush was holding tawnies for common folk, he was first in line to enrol. So what happened to him then? Well, this fella by the name of Peter enrolled. They called him Black Peter on account of the colour he wore. He beat all comers. No man could match him. Only Svartabruk was determined to take him, so he started training all the hours God gave. He even started going to Captain Bernard for lessons. And in the last tourney, he got the better of Black Peter in the end and won the prize. Only he never came home that day. I figured he was having a drink in Rate to celebrate his victory. But he didn't even turn up in the morning and I started getting worried. I was just on my way to look for him when some merchants came by. They found my boy by the road just past Rattay. He was still alive, but he was burning up and shaking like a leaf. I sent for the sawbones right away. But before the day was out, I had to send for the priest. Do you think it was this Black Peter who killed him? It was the first thing crossed my mind. I... But there's no proof. It could have been anyone, I suppose. Do you know anything about this Black Peter? No, oh, not much. I asked around, but nobody knew nothing much about him. Except he was a stuck-up bastard. He always just turned up for the tawny, took his prize and vanished. I think I can tell you what happened to Svatopluk. Really? The fact that he died just after beating Black Peter and winning the tourney was no coincidence. So it was that bastard. Yes. Black Peter lay in wait and ambushed me. He's a nasty piece of work. I reckon after losing the tourney, he lay in wait for your son like he did me and did something to him. Only I don't know exactly what. Merciful God, I knew it. But how did you get away from the fucker? Did you kill him? That was no match for me. I sent him straight to hell where he belongs. Thank you.
Yeah, it won't bring my boy back, but it gives me some peace to know you avenged his death. Here, take this. I it's not much, but it's all I have. Take care. Okay, so there will be more tourneys, there will be more fighting in said tourneys, but uh, I think there's two more pieces of armor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, that that's it for now with the tournament. I will fight it, but there's, you know, not much more to show there, seeing as it's, it gets repetitive, right? It's just repeating itself. No, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it isn't the world-renowned victor of the Rat-Eye Tawny, Henry of Scalitz. Well, young sir, what now? Shall we ride boldly forth to adventures new? I never took you for a romantic soul. But, as it happens, a romantic soul is just what I need by my side right now. What, here? Now? Aren't we leaving? Ah, that's just the thing. Here we are, about to ride off into the unknown. Well, who knows what fate has in store for us? What if we should fall as heroes on the battlefield? How could I depart this world with a quiet heart, never having known true love? I'm a little worried about you, sir. Aren't you getting overheated inside that armour? Look, I can't just go off and get my head chopped off somewhere without first winning the heart of the girl I love. So are you going to help me or not? Well, affairs of the heart are what I do best. I'll be glad to help you. So what do you want me to do? You, Hal, shall be my messenger of love. You shall bear her a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. But why me? It's not like you to be bashful, Sir Hans. You can just go and tell her, um... Certainly not. Carolina is different to the others. She was educated in a convent and needs to be handled with kid gloves. Romanced. I must court her secretly. It's the latest fashion in France. And who is this Carolina? The fairest maid that ever walked the earth. Carolina. The butcher's daughter. You must have noticed a divine creature in the marketplace. Unless you're more interested in barnyard animals. Carolina. I do know her. She's a pretty girl, all right, but, um... Well, a little below your station. Love knows no station but the heart. And you keep your peasant eyes off her. Your task is simple. All you have to do is get hold of a necklace fine enough to grace her lovely neck. I did have one that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Unfortunately, not anymore. What happened to it? I lost it playing dice at the inn. But you'll get it back for me. You're a smart lad. I'm sure you'll figure out a way. And I'll reward you handsomely. Oh, all right then. Is there something else I should know about this necklace? I lost it at dice in the Ledechko Tavern when I was there to see... Well, that's not important. So, some dice player from Ledechko won your grandmother's valuable necklace. Haven't you learned anything from losing to Zdena, the bathhouse wench? My great-grandmother's... 
And as it happens, I have learned a trick or two. But that fellow has the luck of the devil. No doubt he'll still be sitting there, swindling other folk out of their hard-earned groshen. Oh, uh, what's the use? All right, all right. I'll go to Ledetsko, find this diabolical dice player and see what I can do. Though I'll probably lose my shirt to him. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. God be with you. Okay, pun. What am I getting myself involved in? The game of froze. All right, Sir Hans Capon. We're going to Lodeczko. Let's ride. And before I actually stop uh, in Lodeczko to talk to talk with the dice player, I will get a bath, and then I will remove the helmet, the male coif, and then the padding. Yes. Evil helmets are a bit of an interesting thing in that they have three parts of them. The male coif, the uh, gambeson beneath that male coif, and obviously on top of all of that is the actual plate. I'm not quite wearing full plate, just keeping in mind. Full plate is a bit different. This is more like half plate, you would call it, I guess. Madame. Looking for someone? I would like a bath. Who's there? Answer me. God watch over you, good knight, especially in these dark times. Can I do something for you? God bless. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Are you the one who played dice with Lord Capon? Played and won, lad. A fine noble he may be. But he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. I can't disagree with you there. But look here, have you still got that piece of jewellery you won from him? No, I don't. Some noble rode through here and we had a game or two. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace now. Did you know where this fellow was heading? He was waiting for someone here. That's but when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. He mentioned something about camping by the bridge over the Sassau River. That one before the charcoal burners camp. You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. There aren't many fords along the river on the way to Sassau. Can you tell me anything else about him? Fine gent he was. Well dressed. On horseback. Had quite a lot to say. Seems he saw a bit of the world. And he had some interest in looking dice. You said they fell well for him? Aye, and no wonder. Fine dice they was, made special, all shiny and whatnot. That's all I need to know. So he'll have good dice. Okay. Yeah. 
I can't swim. Okay. Well, he's certainly farther than I expected him to be. Far farther than expected, actually. Roaming for the bohemian medieval countryside. What a view. It is quite a glorious view. Yeah. Let's play. After something, I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And um, well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Your master? Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Capon with a um, a, a private matter. Those are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Domkey, in the service of... Well, that's not important. I'd like to give you... That is... I'd like to ask you for your help. I'm listening. Tell me what you know. I will. And I'm sure it will help you find that necklace. The thing is... This is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse... By the time I got here, I found him like this. Ah, God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. When I finally pulled myself together, I took a look around and found some tracks. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. Nah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandits' camp and find that fucking murderer. And when you do, you'll find what you're looking for. And how am I supposed to recognize the killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but 
you might pick up some clue. You could have a look around for that necklace. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him too. Silver is silver, though. I won't recognise anything. Didn't he have something unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... Oh, yes, he did. Dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. This is pride and joy. They were red and gold, bright and shiny. Not the kind of thing you'd overlook. What can you tell me about Alphonse? So they don't catch me out if they start asking questions. Indeed. A few details should suffice. He was from Slani, but lived in Prague the last few years. He advised people very well, too. He helped them to deal with problems of all kinds. Yeah, he sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to Prague. I'm not sure I can fool them. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player, God forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia on the service of Prokop of Luxembourg. But that was ages ago. What do you know about the brigands in that camp? Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band. Sir Ehar Baron Bielowitz. Some of his vassals and maybe some commoners. They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure the Sassau custodian would lend you a few men. <laughs> There's nothing I'd like to see more than the lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And as for the custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian is in league with their heart. What was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? I'll need to know that. Look, Henry, you'd best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. It'll be a bit hard to avoid that, since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of his visit. True. Well... Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benishoff, especially holding up merchant's wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Benishoff. Nor Vlachim, for that matter. It's a bit complicated. Damn politics. That doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. No, no. They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know him? Aye. He moved in altogether different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. Now, wouldn't it be better if you did that yourself? After all, I know nothing about this Alphonse. They'd see through me. I'd do it if I could, lad. Only they know me, and I'm not on the best of terms with them. They'd most likely kill me on sight. <sighs> then the two of us would be dead and those bastards would get away with it. Well, I hope I can avoid the same fate. Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble, not a peasant. A commoner. So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. My word. The whole thing sounds like quite a twisted affair. So are you going to help me? I'll help you. I'll have to go, though, to look for the necklace anyway. And this seems as good a way as any. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't get caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost his life on my account. If it starts to look risky, take to your heels. I'll bear that in mind. Mm, looks like he died without a struggle. Maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had. Money, jewellery, even his boots. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had, or something in particular? Hmm. It looks like someone went this way with the nobleman's horse.
Alright, they do have an archery range over there. Okay. Would I be right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart, uh, Baron Bilevets? You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? All the way from Prague, eh? Not at all, Goodman. Uh, from Slany. Ah, well, that's quite a haul. How was your journey? As well as might be expected in these perilous times. Oh, aye. The roads ain't safe at all these days. There's all sorts of rabble waiting to rob unwary folk and even kill them. Indeed, indeed, I concur. One must be wary, well, cautious, even, when travelling. Right then, but you'll have to wait a while. Sir Earhart is busy at the moment. No matter. I shall just, uh... Ah, but it's easy to pass the time here. There's always a dice game going on, with nice things being wagered. I had my eye on a fine pair of gauntlets and some old piece of jewelry. Mm, jewelry, you say? Oh, that's right. Just go and see old Blaha, the fellow sitting at that table there. He can read, write, and do sums as good as any scribe. And other things, too. He keeps things in shape here a bit. Thank you. I may well do that. Rivers of blood and a bloody flood. I was told I could have a game or two here until Sir Earhart has time to see me. Aye, he's got his hands full at the moment. Mm. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? I'm Blaha, Sir Earhart's servant. I take care of things here a bit. Including dice? It has come to my attention that there are interesting things being wagered. True enough. We've got a fine pair of plate gauntlets, two necklaces, one of them's a lovely piece, a good sharp sword, and some other things. I don't remember what. The custom here is if you want to play, you've got to wager something to join. Far be it from me to disrespect established custom. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Thanks. You want to play right away, or...? Why wait? I'll play now. No beating around the bush. That's the way. You'll play against Noggin now. He's not the brightest, and he ain't a good loser. I'm gonna get soaked. What else is there to do here? Killing, fighting, never losing. Killing, Robin fighting, never losing. Robbing fucking hard and beating. Take the women, burn the village, drink annihilate and pillage. Burning, wrecking, making strife. How sweet it is, a robber's life.
top like good ain't even fuck. fuck I'm almost sober again Okay, I got 4,000 already. But he's doing quite well for himself. Oh, but now he leaves me too. You're a fucking cheat. Sir, I challenge you to a duel. I won't take any accusations from you. I accept. Get out of here now. Yes. God bless you. Oh, fucking sick head. Can't drink no more today. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Ask away. Anything to pass the time. Fucking weather. Fucking tent. Fucking You're my daughter, right? I am. Why'd you ask? Just curious. This is quite an interesting retreat you men have here. You could put it that way. I ain't been here long, though. I helped them out of a tight spot and they took me with them. Is that right? How did that happen? Well, I was lying in wait for this wagoner, see? Because he'd been mouthing off about me, so I figured I'd take all he had for compensation. Anyway, I'm hiding there in the bushes, and I hear this wagon coming, so I jumped out to ambush him. Only it wasn't that wagoner, but some merchant. As soon as he saw me with my weapon drawn, he started screaming bloody murder, and next thing, his armed escort comes charging up, and I was the one ambushed. The injustice of it. Mm, vexing indeed. Aye. Anyway, they caught me and took me with them. They figured I was Sir Earhart's spy, and they wanted me to lead them to him. Of course... I told them I didn't know what the fuck they were on about. So, while they were threatening to break me on the wheel, string me up and what have you, along comes the Baron with his merry band, and they lay into the soldiers and send them running for the hills. And ever since then, I've been riding with them. That is quite an entertaining anecdote. Ain't it just? If it hadn't been for me, the fellows would have run straight into a trap and it'd all be up with them. So, it's on account of me, they're still alive. And how are things here? Do you get away much? We ain't allowed to leave. So I've been here the whole time. I don't mind, though. There's always something to pass the time. And yeah. we've got that wench. Everywhere. Should That's all. Home. No one to rob. Fucking boring. I need a good scrap. How did you find this place? That was my doing. 
I heard from a scribe about some ownership feud that ended up badly for both sides. Since then, it's been left neglected. Oh, that's a shame. No doubt it was once a fine place. Aye, the vagaries of fortune, eh? Times are harsh and what have you. Killing it's always been that way and always will. I wonder how many burned out, abandoned ruins will be left when Sigismund withdraws. How many folk will have no homes to return to? And how many won't be returning ever? But that's our lot in this vale of tears. There'll be no peace and quiet till the next life. Amen to that. Can you tell me something about yourself? What can I tell you? I can read and write a bit, and I help Sir Earhart out when he needs it. Although, I have to say, since the Baron took to robbing, there's not much work for me anymore. And what did he do before that? What every landed noble does. He still had some estates and income from them. Only he lost it all some years ago on account of debts. So he had to find some other livelihood. Yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. What else I want to play do? dice. Who will be my opponent? They fell your way last time, and no mistake. You'll play Berta. He's a man, but they call him that for some reason. Damned if I know why. Camp life sure ain't easy. Fuck. Okay, 2000. Okay. Want to rob here? Fucking boring. I'm so hungry, I can eat foot filth, stink everywhere. I should have stayed home. Tell me something about yourself. Why do you want to know? You want to spread the word about what a good dice player I am? Well, I was just curious. You know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. But if you must know, they call me Berta. And I'm Sir Erhardt's right-hand man. Berta? <laughs> ah, you heard of me, have you? The scourge of Vlashim. No man who felt the edge of my axe lived to tell the tale. So why are you hiding out here? I wouldn't call it hiding. We're just having a bit of a rest. From what? Things were getting a bit too hot for us. Nobody bothers us here. Just as long as we don't show our faces in Sassau. Fucking sick head. Can't drink no more today.
Rivers of blood and the blood What's going on here, anyway? It all seems a little... odd. Haven't you ever been in the camp of a merry band of robbers? Never quite this merry, to tell the truth. They've got their loot, and now they want some fun. Booze, dice, and women. I'm the only girl here. Well, they're more interested in dice, anyway. And boozing. And they're no fun at all. Well, they seem very fond of their dice, all right. Aye. They always play the same way. Every player bets his most valuable piece of loot. And the winner takes all. It ends in a fight most times. Although it's a long time since anyone got killed over it. Hmm. I'd better watch my step then. You do that, handsome. It'd be a shame to spoil that pretty face. I want to play dice. Who will be my opponent? They fell your way last time, and no mistake. You'll play against Maladota. He's a bit... Well... You'll see for yourself. What a she do? I need a good scrap to shoot me up with a fucking tense fucking camp. I've had enough of this shit. Gulf and Sting can't be where. I guess we will see. Stayed home. That was incredibly lucky, but these dice are, uh... Okay. I only lose 250 anyway. Please give me something. He's the one that killed the uh, Alphonse. He's got the red dice. Like all his dice are red. I'd like to ask you something else. Ask away. That's all. I want to play dice. They fell your way last time. Then there's Pekuna. He's a local fellow who brings stuff for us. He put up a nice necklace as his wager. Oh, 
Comp life sure ain't easy. Fuck. I'm so hungry, I can eat my boots. Okay, I'm close to 3,000. Okay, he played the fire and he lost. Can I have a word with you? What do you want? What's your story? You don't look like one of them at all. I ain't, true enough. I'm a local. I don't go raiding with them. When they're here, I just look out for them, bring them supplies and that. And what do you do when they're not here? Whatever's needed. But being the go-between for them that set up the ambushes pays well. And you don't have to risk your neck for it. I'll leave you to it. I'm so hungry, I can eat my boots. How did I do? Have I won? Well now, Sir Alphonse, you took them all by storm. Here's the key to the prize. Thank you kindly. Don't like sure ain't easy.
So tired. The chief doesn't want to see you. I'll wait until morning, see if I can get it then. Robbing fucking whores and boozing. Take the women, burn the village, drink and annihilate and pillage. Burning, wrecking, making strikes, and robbers life. I'll wait one more hour, see what happens then. To just before uh, 10 a.m. Enough of this shit. The chief doesn't want to see you. Well, I never. 
The chief doesn't want to see you. There are in the world of death. I have good news for you, Sir Anselm. I know who killed your friend. Who was it? It was Mladota, one of the brigands. How did you find out? From the dice. All right. I'll take care of it from here. And I owe you for helping me. Here. Henry, take this. I'm sorry I don't have more on me. But if you're ever in Prague, come and look me up and I'll see you're well taken care of. It's been a pleasure, Sir Anselm. Godspeed. lost something. I'm gonna enjoy this! <laughs> 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 Can I ask something? I have nothing to do with cheats.
I was told not to let you pass. Got belly ache, have you? That's nasty. <laughs> Oh, slaughter! Mm. I'm going to enjoy this. Where could he vanish to? He must be here somewhere. Bring it on! Someone there. Mm. Just messing around really, more so than anything else. Obviously I can't take all of them down. Well, I need to check out, right? Or pursue a different path, maybe. Can you hold and what? What if I was true in some other far be? Thank, thanks. Okay. Why wait? You'll play again. Fucking weather. Fucking tent. Fucking camp. I've had enough of this shit. Should have stayed home. Yeah, I'm getting fucking camped. I've had Stink everywhere. Should I stayed home? Girlfriend stink everywhere. Like sure ain't easy. Should have stayed Fuck. home. Fuck it, weather. Fuck it, tents. Fuck it, camp. I've had enough of this shit. Okay, yeah, busted. Meanwhile, I'm close to halfway there. Okay, score and pass.
You're a fucking... You're better than I expected. I yield. Killing, fighting, never losing, robbing, fucking hard and beating. All right, I'll let you go. Thank you. Spinning, wrecking, making strife, how sweet it is, a robber's life. The chief has more important things. Killing, fighting, oh, never they, losing, you'll play bird. Fucking horse oh, and so Women burn the village, drink, annihilate, and pillage. Burning, wrecking, making strife. How sweet it is, a robber's life. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. What else is there to do here? Fuck. I'm almost sober. Fucking wise. Fucking please. Like it's the first time you got me. You must be used to itching by now. I'll never get used to this. Watch me a few once in a while. You watch your fuck. I'm I'm so I could have drowned bathing in a pond. I'm not taking the risk. I only watch when it's raining. You must be chasing women away with a stick. You bet. They can smell a tree, man. Fucking weather. Fucking tank. Fucking camp. I'm so hungry. Okay, close to 2000. His dice do suck. Killing, fighting, never losing, robbing, fucking whores and boozing. Take the women, burn the village, drink, annihilate, and pillage. Burning, wrecking, making strife. How sweet it is, a robber fucking life. Fucking weather. Fucking tent. Fucking camp. Rivers I didn't know for this shit. Blood and a bloody flood. Okay. Fucking lice, fucking please. Like it's the first time you got them. You must be used to itching by now. I'll never get this. Try washing yourself once in a while. You wash yourself. My granddad's brother brown bathed in a pond. I'm not taking the risk. I only wash when it's raining. You must be chasing women away with a stick.
Sir Earhart has no time for you now. Sir Earhart will receive you now. The blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ upon you, Baron Bielovets. I'm honored to make your acquaintance. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, sir. We haven't had any interesting visitors here for a long time, and I'm keen to hear what news you bring. And then there's the matter of our trade. Indeed, we certainly have much to discuss, sir. Good. And how was your journey, Sir Alphonse? Long and somewhat fatiguing, truth be told. Ah, would you rather put off our talks until later? No, no. I shall be glad to deal with our business right away, but I'd rather tell you the latest news later. Very well. If you wish to skip the pleasantries, let's get down to business. From what I've heard, you have some proposal for me that would involve departing from Vlashim? Yes, essentially. We need to divert attention elsewhere. To Benishov. I know Benishov well. That could be done. And who are we to devote our attention to? Merchant wagons. <laughs> of course! How better to put the fear of God in the townsmen than to relieve them of their silver? Do you want us to conduct our business on any particular road? The road to pilgrims. I see. And what's in it for us? If terrorizing folk is what you want, there might not be much profit in it. Would 6,000 groschen suit you? That's not enough. Make it nine at least. Very well. You shall have 9,000 groschen. And that's everything? I can also offer you a safe hideout, if you should have need of it. That's always useful to have somewhere to lie low. Where is it? Well, I will pause here while I check my old video.